Hi again, so we have reached the uh, exercise on Fibonacci sequence. So uh, we need to calculate the nth term of the Fibonacci sequence and the re uh, recurrence relation is given as follows. So the first two terms are equal to one. And uh, as uh, far as we go from uh, term three and, and up, uh, it will be the sum of the previous uh, two uh, terms. So uh, for term three, it's equal to U1 plus U2. So it, it will be equal uh, to two and uh, so on uh, and on so let's start so we need uh, u1 and u2 and then we have un and then we, we need to uh, continue this looping till we reach the number n so we need to read n so let's start i will erase this and uh, let's keep this so we need uh, u1 u2 and un so let's make it capital and uh, we need uh, n for the number that we read, the term, and we will need a counter. So we need to, to read n, so uh, forcibly n should be uh, a positive number. So I will uh, embrace it, I will plot it <coughs> in a do y, so enter n, uh, scan f, percentage d, address of n, and I will keep reading as long as n is. Maybe maybe we will do it even if it's if it's less than zero. So if it's one, I will I will return uh, u one, and if it's two, I will return u two. So uh, as long as n is less than one, so if it's less or equal than zero, I will ask the user to re-enter the number. So I will initialize u one equal u two, and uh, let's say that I will place also u n equal u one equal u two equal one. So if the user enters one. I will I will uh, uh, output the value u n. If the user enters u two, I will uh, output the value u n. So at the end here, I will uh, print f. I will so say the value of term n is equal uh, to u of n. So here I I will place n and u n. So if the user enters one or two, I will have u n. So if the user enters a, a, a number or of n uh, which is higher than one or two i need to do the calculation so how i will do the calculation so if for example he enters the n equal to three so i should calculate u1 plus u3 hmm? so this is here obvious so if he enters u uh, n equal to three i should do u1 plus u2 so and what if he enters u4 so u4 it will be equal to u3 plus u2 so what I will do is that I will I will keep looping. So the loop will go from where? So I have here the counter i. So what I will do is that I will start from i equal to 3 because if he enters 1 or 2, I already have the answer. And then I will loop till I have uh, until I reach the uh, element, uh, the counter n. And as far as we go, we need to increment. So at each iteration, I'll do this calculation. However, I need to update u1 and u2. So uh, uh, so this is uh, f the first time is u1 and u2, but the second time this one will come will be u2 and this one will be u3. So the, the old value of u1 will be erased. So I will place u2 in its value, and in u2 I would place u1. So all these are in capital. So let me repeat. So uh, you should understand this from. Uh, the case where n is equal to 3 so in the case where n is equal to 3 i will do u1 and u2 and then okay okay this is just for one case equal to 3 what if it's it's for the general case so i need to do a for loop so at each iteration i need to do the summation however at the end of, of course i will print u n however and i need to update u1 and u2 so uh, as you can see the, the the term u n is equal to the sum of the two previous uh, uh terms so as we do the iteration, so u2 will, will come into u1 because if, I, for example, I'm doing the, the term un, it's un minus 1 plus un minus 2. So, and, and uh, before that, we have calculated un minus 2 in terms of un minus 3 and un minus 4. So, this term is in common. So, I'll put it in u1 and u2 will be equal to un. So, let's run this and see if it works for 1, 2, 3. So, for 1, it should give us 1, which is normal. Let's do 2. So again, so we will not enter the loop. For 3 would be equal to 2.
and then for the term 4 so it's equal to u3 uh, plus u2 which is equal to, th uh, to 3 plus 1 uh, 2 plus 1 which is equal uh, to 3 let's do the 5 which is right which is equal to 3 plus 2 so this is uh, this is the solution so the trick is here just here so um, in, in order to to check uh, the uh, value of um so we have all, also other questions in the book which ask us to uh, find the uh, the maximum value and the maximum term uh, that we can have uh, using uh, int long or uh, double and long double so int so w w what is the maximum and so how can we write the code of that so for this the user won't enter the number n and we need to calculate the maximum value so how we can calculate maximum value so here i will not reach n i will do uh, other calculations so what i will do that is the the uh, the condition will change here so i will contest uh, continuously looping and i don't know before that when i will finish so for that we will use an infinite loop what does it mean infinite loop it means it will loops infinitely so i i will not get out from this so one here it means true while true it's always true so this uh, loops uh, will, will loop uh, indefinitely so i need to use somewhere inside here a break so what i will do that since i know that we are using an integer here and we know that if we reach the maximum uh, integer number so if, if i do plus one it will be a negative so what i will do here is after calculating un so i will check if un is negative it means that i have reached the maximum element so in in the in u2 i have the previous un so if I add u1 and, and it turns out to be a negative it means that u2 was the maximum element so I'll do a break I'll get out from loop and I will print here u2 so let's run it so it will take uh, so so here there's no n so I need to calculate the term so for that I will use i in i here I will keep uh, i i equal to 3 and I will do here i plus plus let's let's place it at the top here and let's see the term the maximum term I would place I also so there is no n no more so we found that maximum if I'm using integer I can calculate the Fibonacci term number 48 so it's equal to 48 so here it's not 48 because we have uh, I equal to 3 so it should come here and we will place minus minus since we have calculated the term u2 before incrementing the element so let's run, rerun it again. It should be 46. So it's the term 46. So an integer, the Fibonacci term 46 is the maximum uh, uh, term that we can get, and this is the value. So for long, it's uh, the same since in our uh, compiler they are the same. So what about long, long? Let's change this ones and put long, long. So whenever we have long, long, we should use L, uh, LD. Uh, so let's run it so in long we can reach the term 92 and this is the term the maximum term if we are using uh, double so they are asking to use double so in double um, we cannot have uh, a un negative because uh, um, I have uh, uh, placed a video uh, a bonus video about how we can represent uh, floats and real numbers in the memory so you can uh, click on top of this uh, video on the top right there's uh, an information icon so you can uh, click it to uh, view uh, the video uh, so we, we don't have the same representation as an integer so if we reach the maximum we will move directly into a constant called infinite so we need to check if it's infinite or not so we cannot check if it's negative or not so there's a function called uh, is inf and it's in uh, in the library mat mat.h so we need to include mat.h so we don't need this so it's in mat and if it's equal to infinite you and it will get out so let's run and see what's the maximum value so here we have lf it's not ld so let's place it e also so it's in scientific notation it's better so in, in double, we should reach the term 1476, which is right. So the, the maximum term using a, a, a double, it would be the term number 1476. Let's use long double. 
So long double will use LE, and we will see also the term it will reach around the 23,000. So yes, it's 23,601. This is the maximum term that we can get in uh, for the Fibonacci sequence for uh, using a long double. So uh, this is it for uh, this exercise. So if you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop me a message. I will try to answer you back. And again, thanks for watching.